Hi, I'm Kev and welcome to this week's Draw Along. This week we are drawing the Star Spangled Avenger Captain America. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. Okay then let's begin. So first of all we're going to draw our blue um, stick figure, our construction drawing. And this Captain America is going to be in motion, he's going to be in action. He's a Jack Kirby character, so Jack Kirby characters have to be um, always in kind of like action poses, I reckon, personally. But yeah, so he's going to come kind of coming forward. So we've got that front knee sticking out, um, that right knee sticking out towards, towards us. That rear leg going back up into the distance there's a bit of foreshortening going on in this picture and as you can see um it's come out kind of quite bulky to begin with um i think i'll slim him down a little bit for the final picture as well go in for the guidelines on the face and then on to penciling I want to get all those muscles in the relatively the correct position. Um, there's a bit of messing around here, so I messed up the arm here. So I went in, reconstructed it uh, to try and make that muscles, those muscles look uh, a bit more realistic, less Rob Liefeldy. Um, <laughs> when I was drawing this. In fact, I was thinking of Rob Liefeld, uh, Captain America, when I was drawing this. I will put up a picture here for all of you who've never seen this very famous drawing. Yeah. So just in the eye. Wasn't very happy with the face. Some, I don't really like these masks, um, kind of like with the big eye gaps. It was the same with the flash, um, where the kind of the cow, rather than the cow going right to the eyes, like say like Batman's, um, the cow kind of leaving quite a big gap, so you can see the skin and like the eyebrows underneath the mask. Um, I'm not a huge fan of drawing that. So I was just making sure as well, like everything looks right underneath the shield. So like his body looks right underneath the shield as well. Just roughing out where those circles are going to be. Great thing about Procreate is you can make ellipses and circles quite easily. Um, you're going to draw it uh, uh, traditionally. Um, I'd suggest getting like kind of like you can get like these ellipse. Um, guides that you could use or a compass we'll just eyeball it hope. hope for the best right onto the inking stage so the shallow today is kind of coming uh, slightly over the top from the left side, actually, I'm, most of my drawings tend to have the shadow on this side of the face. <laughs> Do you remember those, uh, the wing tips? So I'm just kind of placing as well where I think the shadows will be. So um, that little hatching on the forehead is where I'm going to kind of, kind of a guide for me um, to where I'm going to kind of put some darker colour in, some uh, little bit of shadow with the colour in. Thank you. 
I was also debating whether drawing all the chain mail, but I've gone for a, uh, again, kind of more like a classic Captain America. They're easy. It's easier to draw like a classic uh, drawing rather than going in and doing them. Um, maybe drawing like an ultimate version of Captain America or maybe a more modern version where there's lots of uh, pouches and stuff. Actually, I think that's a problem with some of the, well, to my personal tastes, I don't like the fact that comics um, drawing things more realistic, uh, keep it silly, I think, with the costumes. Like, I love these big boots that he wears with the little, like, kind of flare things on them. Change it for the films, yeah, but don't uh, keep it in the comics. The comics don't have to be 100% realistic. Get him right in there, <laughs> shading his pants. So I was debating having this back leg fully in shadow, but I've still wanted a bit of light to smack off the uh, leg. And there we go. So we've done our inking and I've added in the um, flats for the colors. So now I'm just going down and um, adding the highlights. Again, this one's this one's going to be kind of flat. It's not going to not going to go too in detail with the colouring. I'm adding uh, like a little shine to the uh, shield. And yeah, I'm just doing all the highlights at the moment. Make sure my layer's locked so I don't go uh, out of the lines. Once that's done, I'm going to oh, just add a bit of shine to the gloves. Bit where the sun's hitting and it's reflecting. Same with the skin. And then I'm going to create a new layer, create a clipping mask over the colored layer. And I'm gonna add my shadows. I'll reduce the, I just use black and I'll reduce the opacity. There we go, just adding the shadow. Again, where I think the uh, light, where the colors are not quite in the uh, light. colors because they're, uh, they're out of the shadows. And adding a bit of a shadow to the uh, shield as well. And that's it everyone, we've drawn Captain America. Thank you for watching this video, I've just recorded the um, voiceover first thing in the morning so sorry my excitement levels with this one haven't been um, amazing but yeah if you have drawn along please send your drawings to me at Kev's Draw Along on Instagram I'd love to see them I think I'm going to stick with the Avengers still so we've done the Hulk we've done Captain America Whew, next week I might put it to a vote so what would you rather see uh, Black Widow or Iron Man Leave your comments below and I'll get to them and I'll either choose to draw what you vote for or I might just ignore it. I will draw what you vote for. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you everyone and until next time, keep drawing. Bye-bye.